Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to the Iran-Iraq Dynamic Campaign Day 4. Whoa, bypass, punch it. Okay, so hi everyone, welcome back to Phase 4 of the Desert Campaign. Uh, this phase of the campaign sees the introduction of some big changes, so I'll walk you through them now. Um, after some member and viewer feedback, as well as myself getting a little more comfortable with CTLD scripting and so on, I've decided to push on a bit. And so to go through this, we need to jump to the rule set for the campaign on the main sheet. You'll see that I, I have added three more rules, now highlighted yellow, are rules 19 to 21. So these are the main changes for today, so I'll walk you through them now. In rule 19, there are no more limits on response uh, on death. However, player slots, airframes, and stores are now limited at all air bases and farbs. So, i.e., I have introduced warehousing to the campaign. Uh, rule 20 to return an airframe and its payload to a hangar, so to an airfield, you need to successfully land, park, and shut down your engine before despawning. Uh, rule 21. In, in future missions, resupply convoys will head out to resupply air bases and farbs, and should they reach their destinations, these farbs will be resupplied, topped up for the next mission. Um, so we'll see the introduction of warehousing, so resources such as airframes and munitions will be counted, and this will play a big part in the coalition strategy for today and future miss missions. The system I'm using is similar to online dynamic campaigns, such as the ones running on the GR Battleground server. Uh, the Iran campaign of a few years back also had a version of warehousing, and the systems that I'm using are covered in one of CAP's uh, mission editor videos with Aaron Wolf, so feel free to check that out. Having a limited number of airplanes and munitions will mean that more of your decisions and actions will count. Each airfield and FARP in the mission holds a number of aircraft in its hangar, and these numbers will go down as you use them up in combat. Flyable slots are also limited at each airfield, typically two per aircraft type, and the number of airframes are limited uh, to 10 for now. Uh, we'll go through the flights later on, but on the sign sheet, uh, people have only been inputting their preferred aircraft and takeoff locations, not the actual ones. Once the mission starts, members will choose freely among the dozens of slots available and can swap between aircraft uh, for different sorties if needed. Just to give you a couple of examples, if you look at the inventory below the two team rosters at the bottom of the sheet, you'll see these numbers. So, for example, should an F-14 pilot, say pilot A, take off from an Nasseria, he would have reduced the flyable slots to one and the total aircraft available to nine. So, as I mentioned, munitions are also counted, so whatever payload he took off with would have been taken out of the airbase's stores as well. So, spamming phoenixes can be effective, but will have a cost and where possible, more abundant FOX-1 or FOX-2 type missiles should be used if possible. Each airfield has a certain number of airframes and stores independent from each other. So if your team loses an airfield, then you would lose its stores along with that. Uh, so this F-14 pilot can uh, park, shut down and despawn to return the aircraft to the hangar uh, and is free to spawn in anywhere on the map. Its team has slots ready. There are no limits to how many pilots uh, spawn in F-14, so you can all be Tomcats, for example. But uh, if you all take the same aircraft and you and you have losses, then that will impact the rest of your campaign. So you'll have to be the judge of that. Um, also important to note is that munition dumps at every airfield can be destroyed. And so uh, whatever they, they contain would also be removed from the total available at that airfield. These uh, ammunition munition dump will be visible on the map, so you can plan strike missions if you want to. Um, though I have not limited fuel. So just to continue my earlier example, should, have, should our F-14 pilot make it back alive, then landing, parking the aircraft and shutting down the engine before despawning, will return it and whatever stores to the airfield. Uh, in this way, airbases and FARPs are even more important. Uh, losing one will hurt all the more with dozens of aircraft, hundreds of munitions and spawn points gone from your team. Um, there is also a ferry system in place, um, so should in future the frontline airfields lack certain munitions, these can be brought, literally carried by an airplane from another base. Uh, later, when certain very valuable systems like pods, TALs, strike or sidearms are in demand near the front, spawning at a fur further airbase and landing and delivery of stores first uh, could be an option. So it's now a war of skill, lo logistics and also attrition and the team that plans and executes its sorties the best should win. Arming yourself to the max load capacity, then dying within a few minutes will have considerable negative consequences for your team in the long run. Making it back, back alive with some stores 
even without having scored any kills, though perhaps making your opponent use their munitions or providing a valuable distraction for your team should be considered a good flight. So I have given each team, each coalition, roughly equal numbers of everything, from bombs to air-to-air -air missiles, and I feel I've been generous. Um, there won't be any shortages in the first mission anyway, um, but we'll see the results of today and we may adjust if needs be. Um, you are able to see how many munitions and what munitions are available at each airfield as you rearm and also as you click on the F10 map on the resources tab. Um, so future missions will see the introduction of supply convoys sent by your HQ to resupply the airfields. These will be uh, driven, so uh, vehicle convoys or maybe flown in as well. Um, they will probably supply rear uh, airfields first before the logistics train can find its way to your forward areas. So you'll probably want to protect these to make sure they get to their destinations and you get resupplied and the opposition will have a very strong incentive to go hunting for them. Finally, um, as there are many factors now playing this campaign, I'll need your feedback to keep improving things. So if you find any errors or bugs, be patient, spawn in another aircraft if needs be, just let me know. So thanks for your help there. So those are the main changes for today. Uh, the weather is fair. Uh, we are in the morning, 7 a.m. and no issues with visibility. Uh, respawn, I just mentioned that the respawn, uh, the normal respawn conditions apply. So if you have any connection or lag issues, that, that won't count. However, it may deduct an aircraft from one of the hangars. So if you have any connection issues or lag or so on, please let me know so I can put that uh, uh, unit back into the hangar. It won't be counted. So uh, let's go to the second tab and let's look at the map, see what happened last time. Um, I'll be providing this update each time we rejoin the campaign instead of giving a summary at the end of each mission because it takes time to assess everything. Um, so I'll just be giving more details in, before we start uh, every mission. Looking at the battle area, you can see things are exactly as they were last time, on the surface anyway. Most of the battles took place in the east over the border area between Suleimania and Iraqi Kurdistan. And if you've seen the videos, you remember it was action packed to say the least. Tapka was the center of a lot of attention as Blue 4 tried to capture it near the end. You remember that there was a standoff between an infantry squad and an M60 Patton tank. Well, those are still there at the start of this mission, and that's where we will resume. The only other update in this tab here is the CTL uh, table right at the bottom, where I provide updates on what teams are allowed to build. You can see, for example, that Red 4 has constructed its full allowance of SA-15s and long-range SAMs. In the third tab, um, I've just updated the radios and added the ground radar frequency for the red side as they built a ground radar in the last mission. And with that, the briefing is done. Coalitions, Blues today, Iraq, Drop, Matrix, Elo, Hasina, Chef, Cap, Blood, Blight, Red, and the Iranians today, RT, Bypass, Rage, High, Jafaz, Bendy, Tuxel, and Jigsaw. Right, blue planning. It's a bit uh, of a reset, and we've got their numbers. Yeah, um, I think the, the, I did debate whether we went into Khuzestan or pushed into Tabka and uh, far, uh, Iraqi Kurdistan. Uh, I think if the fighters can type the F-14s, one from Tabka and one from TS, they'll be coming up the east. So if you guys can do like you did last week, tie them up. The Etondards can do some close air support at Tabka and Farp Kurdistan. If we send, say, a couple of Hueys down to Tabka with uh, an MI-24 escort, take out the remainder of the enemy forces, land forces there and capture that. We can send two MI-17s and possibly two MI-24 escorts down to Farp Kurdistan and start having a go at that. Roger, so there's, uh, well, as we know it, uh, there's one tank remaining at Tabka. Um, so I can head there, try and, try and find that and take that out, um, which should free up that airfield then for the Hueys. Um, yeah, I can go straight to the Farp from that. Keep in mind, by, by the time we get there, they can probably uh, deploy a SAM. Yep, I think if we use the helos, um, say one or two MI-24s, preferably one in the Hueys, get them to take a couple of troops, squads of troops down to the airfield, that'll reinforce that. Well, yeah, it'll take a while, but that'll give the uh, close air support guys a bit of time to uh, take out any remaining enemy forces there. Yeah, I'll take troops and rockets. What do we have in terms of air defences? Um, MiG-29s. I mean, in uh, um, SAM systems. Uh, Matrix was successful in putting up one last mission. I can't remember how close it was. Yeah, it was the previous mission. Uh, it was sort of 
five k southeast of it's on the ridge southeast of um, southwest of Farp Kurdistan. It's going to take us a while to get there. Um, if we can take Farp Kurdistan and regain the original situation, we then start thinking about building SAM sites. Because um, my thinking, uh, this is a few missions ago now, was to build a SAM site in the middle by south of Farp Suleiman, so that then the air, our aircraft can just operate around it. Um, I could instead go east of Fart Suleiman and put a long-range SAM system that will cover Tabka, which will give the aircraft more cover then. Yeah, so I don't know exactly what's going to be the state, but I did deploy a part of, uh, what was that? Part of a SAM between Suleimania and Tabka, a white one. Okay, I'll just confirm what I was building. I think in. it was a Hawk. Was it deployed? No, no, it wasn't fully deployed. All right. Um, if you can locate that on the map and see if there anything, if anything is there, uh, we can use that. Then, if that's that's still in there. Yeah, I'll fly over when I move up to Tabka. Okay. So if uh, the two Mi seventeens concentrate on assembling a nice SAM site somewhere near Tabka, that'll threaten the enemy forces. And maybe later on in the mission, when we've got a bit of a chance to assess what's going on, then we can possibly go and have a go at Farp Kurdistan. Um, have we deployed any SA tens? I think deployed a Patriot in the first mission, or maybe it was the second, I can't remember which, but we did de deploy one of them, yeah. Okay, because if we haven't used an SA-10, we absolutely should do, because we can just dominate the middle of the map with that. Okay, the, the only slight snag is that carting external slung load crates in a minute, MI-17 at 100k takes time, so you need to build it as close to Suleiman Air as you can, so 5.5, 6k maybe just to cut down the transit time, because there's quite a few crates to carry for that. Yeah, I mean, Farp Suleiman's in a pretty good spot as it is, because having an SA-10 right in the middle of the map means that they, yeah, they can't go, they have to go either left or right. Well, maybe if um, Blood, uh, Major Blood can I do that, get that as a, done as a priority, then we can look at other things. Cool, sounds good. Uh, yeah, did, they, did, did you not change it to internal crates? I think, I think you can't. Some of the crates have to be externally slung. Okay. Yes. I think only two of the crates can be internally loaded, so um, we'll we'll communicate and take it uh, take it in turns. Well, right. SA ten is basically everything external. You so only you need... have the repairs as internal, and you don't need the repairs at first. No, so uh, it's going to be MI seventeen. So Hueys can go and do something else. And just some reminder: they can respawn uh, as many times as they want, and they're unlikely to run out of aircraft this mission. So, but is it changed cover... to strategic limits? So. They might not run out this mission, but they could run out in future ones. Exactly, yeah. Um, but it I mean, just might limit us a, a little bit this time around. I mean, the same does apply for our MiG-19 and MiG-29. So if those guys can do some nice, effective work with MiG-29s like they did last time, that'd be really good. Yeah, it's not necessarily yeah, about taking territory. It's about making sure that we're in the, a better position than they are and we can kill them faster than they can kill us. And that will enable us to take territory in future missions. Yeah, I mean, that that would uh, argue in favor of us getting a SAM-10 up as soon as we can. Yeah, You can try to drag them from Tabka in direction of uh, the FAP or we have the gauntlet deployed. Yeah, only after we get the gauntlet deployed. I've seen a note, for some reason we're not allowed to equip fuel tanks, so we have to go super fuel conservative today. Which part of the Hawk have you grabbed, uh, Matrix? Uh, one of the external crates, the um, MR radar, track radar or something. Uh, the only ones for the Hawk that are external are launcher and search. Search in that case. I'll grab a launcher then. The senior, I'll meet you at the runway.
Right, let's check the SA. God, Tomcat's already operating. On the plus side, we can see them on EWR at least. Yep, bandit. Bearing 120, 34 nautical miles, Angels 23. And it's now 121, 23 nautical miles, Angels 25. Thank you. I don't know why my radar's not there, it is. Got him. I have you now. Second bandit behind him, 133, 31 nautical miles, 7, Angel 7. Hey, Blood Dog, I've uh, marked the uh, location of the SAM site. Follow the road to the southeast to the crossroads. There's a small triangle of wood, it's just next to that. Yeah, I got vision on your dust cloud. Couldn't get my radar to work, uh, so I am running away. I don't know why it's going on with it now. Both bandits are cold to you. Thank you. Yeah, they got engaged by our Sams. Ah, that's what it was, was it? Turning hot. Quite nice to see that. Roger, first bandit, only bandit on radar, 150, 20 nautical miles, angels, 8, cold. Okay, I'm chasing him back into his terrain. Momentary pop up. Uh, 115, 17 nautical miles. Angels, 2. Thank you. Cap, watch out as you approach uh, Tadka. There might be Sams. Noted. Or maybe not yet, but. There it is! Fire! Fox 1. Cap, pause as soon as you can. Uh, get out uh, to two six four. Let me just put this uh, missile home. You've got F fourteens trying to encircle you. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Failed attack, having radar problems. Oscar, I'm getting out. Closest bandit to you, Cap, now is 033, eight, uh, 10 nautical miles, Angel 7. Thank you. I have visual and they're in fire. Give them to me, give them to me. Cap, I'm seeing a rape here on my RWI, be advised. I almost had him as well. I might be able to sneak in with the uh, UH-1. I suppose we also want to keep the really slow external swing loading down as, to as minimum as, as minimum as possible. Blood on Matrix. Blood on Matrix. 
Go ahead. Can we take internal and external crate? You can, but it will mean more mass, which means it'd be harder to fly. Okay, uh, I'm about to lift a track radar. They have no eyes on the possible Hawk crates that I brought last time. I think these they are despawned. My crate fell over, but I think it's still intact. Okay. The guy said release, and he didn't mean he had released it. He meant you should release it. Yeah, I've had that. I think if you land next to it, you can check if it's uh, intact or damaged. Oh, okay, I'll grab an internal one next and uh, check afterwards. I really hate sling loading in this game. Yeah. I'd rather have my toenails extracted. <laughs> or root canal surgery with that anesthetic. Oh, I'll take uh, sling, loaded, sling loading over that anytime. Red O, F-14 headed your way. Eagle, it's a fair game, right? Yep. Hi, fun. So if I land troops a bit far out of the airfield, the tactical commander can order them to the uh, objective? Oh, hello, you're going for the rapier? Copy that, yep. Right. Yeah. Done the matrix. Good. Failed to deliver the uh, track radar, what are you taking? Uh, is the PCP. Shoot it out, don't shoot it! You are right in their base. How did you survive that, hello? Hmm. Did. Spoke too soon. Got a lot of lag down there. Okay. My poor, my poor machine's dying over here. Oh, Tomcat coming for your drop. Oh, I know. Tomcat found on radar. Come on, let me have him. That's smoke in here, that's a Phoenix. Tomcat's launched a Phoenix, cap cold. Still an enemy healer. Splash. Well done. You got in their base, drop. Yeah, just about. Sexy man. Yeah, turn it back in for it now. Uh, Asena, is that you merged up there? Yep, Fox 2. I see the fight. Oh, God. Bang. Hey, Tomcat down. Right, one fighter reach. Right, let's loiter. Don't go close to their base. Turned out it's yeah, a bad idea. Down it's just there. on the coast. It's just on the coast. Oh shit, hang on. Magnum on the rape yet. Well done. Is that your tail rotor matrix that's sat near the uh, new SAM site? I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I just stayed low to the deck with my radar off. That's what I'm going to do, yeah. Alright, their base is just past the other side of the... Yeah, I'm just crossing past on your right now. Did we take their SAM out, Drop? Uh, it's a negative. Oh, you're, I'm just passing your actions, is it? Right, you tell me when you're facing their base and I'll try and time it so I'm doing the opposite. Just watch your fuel. We just got no fuel at all. High is heading south. Oh, our helicopters are almost in the base. Go, boys. Is that a PCP level? Uh, AFM. Swing my radar over that base. What What do we need next? I guess repair and maybe another launcher. I'll do the launcher at Uh, is it just, is it one launcher, but then it forms many launchers when you actually deploy it? Okay, I'll try that. 
I think if you can get the track radar there, that's all of the crates that we need. Nothing airborne. Scratch it. Bit oh, it's just an uh, enemy uh, helicopter, Tabka. Visual. Yeah, ra Rapier's still active at Tabka. Rod, got it. Yep, I see the helicopter. That's a gazelle. No, I see one carrying something. Hawk sight up. Hold on. That's what I Yep, see the gazelle. Yeah, I think the gazelle is defending the rapier site. I don't think I'll make it, but I'll try. Watch out. I also see two guys carrying crates. If you can, we shoot, get us, some, if you can shoot them down, that'd be great. We should get some shore ads up for, uh, for here. Yep. Uh, yeah. I reckon Hawk repair. The F-14 is going back in there. How far out is it? 20 nautical miles. Right, got a chance to have a pop at this gazelle. I think there are two gazelles there. I'm going to shoot a sidewinder on it. F-14, 175, 15 nautical miles, Angel oh, 10. Just been shot out, I'm running. I've seen a 168, 8 nautical miles. Uh, sorry, correction, 20 nautical miles. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, highest coming up into Top Gun. Angels 8. Who doing rapiers for sure at the uh, bottom? Uh, yeah, we can whack a rapier there as well. I was thinking more things like uh, IR guided sounds. Okay. Um, if you you grab grab the rapier launcher, because that's the only external one. And I'll, uh, okay. Are you doing a BCP or sorry a repair crate? Uh, I'm, uh, the repair crate. I don't think we need at the moment because you can just grab a new one from the um, farm when we okay. actually need it because it won't do anything at the moment. Being at 14 off the nose, Angels 5. Uh, it's now 184, chasing cup. We've got another F14, 084, 4 nautical miles. Angels 4. And after nearest space, if you get a chance to drop, I don't mind that. Special 5 is on 2 MI8 sling loading, tab cap, close to the rapier. Roger cap, Buster. 317 22 nautical miles behind base. Oscar Mike. Special hits on Rapier, hits on MI8. Yeah. Nice space. Yeah, but I don't think it's done. Well, that's gonna keep them busy. It's on the 14, gonna kill. Well, they just got them. I've seen them Alright, so we've killed two Tomcats, they've only killed one MiG, so that's a good ratio, guys. Uh, Special thing down, but definitely got a Hawk, uh, damaged the Mi 8, destroyed the Mi 8. Oh. Good run. And yeah, can confirm the Gazelles that are doing defense. Here we go. Yep, yeah, that's me. I want range PVR, but not be that good, but I just need to get within visual range. Uh, Hasina, closest to you, 190, 14 nautical miles. He is currently heading towards Tabka. He is now turning hot on you. And 173. 16 nautical miles, Angel 3. I think he's going for our helicopters. Fox 2, I merged. Anybody knows the range of the Mortal Squad? It's not far, oh, maybe a few miles. I'm thinking about deploying the Mortar Squad uh, in range of their uh, rapiers and maybe their airfield and then trying to go hunt. I think certainly in range of the sound system is a good idea because it's very squishy. Yeah, I'll do that. Try and get the step 14 and then go out to our team. What are you taking? Um, carrying well, not? I'm carrying a Roland, but you need three of these things. If we get yeah. one up, though, they are an absolute bastard to deal with. 
Uh, that's true. Um, yeah, my um, rapier launch. I'll take a roll the next time then. Um, I get the rapier launch there, because once we have the launcher, we can just very crushy do all the internal crates if we need to. Nice right. work, Red. Nice work. Yeah, there's still a high probability I drop this thing. Yeah, I dro I'm, mine fell off. Uh, 14 is still flying, I believe. You shot Red or down. Oh, God. Go now. Get another kill. Get another kill. I will love you forever. Three Tomcats down. But only one me lost. It's my friggin' boy. But I'm RTV. Yep, you do that. I'll be up in a jiffy. Rapier's still up. Uh, just hit, hit it with a sidearm. I'm not sure. Okay, Second, I'm approaching top cut. Second sidearm was a duck. Don't know what it hit. Oh, take that back. Oh, well done. Rapier hit. Roger, I've got a launcher destroyed. Uh, come back, Hasina. By the time you get back, I'll be going up. 290. Put on guns. Hello, sorry. Right there. I've got a really bad stomach ache. Can't really concentrate. Uh, right, go sidearm. Don't hit the fence. Don't hit the fence. Yeah, hello. Drops it and down. That Sam's dead, guys. So should I take just uh, infantry instead of the motor? Still, maybe worth having it around. I guess. Oh yeah, definitely. It. Okay, I'll take it. Rapier's out, but I don't know what other Sam's have got. So be careful, hello. After that. Also, there's loads of helos down there, red helos. Probably with sidewinders, so be careful. Tomcat Hello, you are in a dogfight with Tomcat FYI. You need to pull out all the dogfighting stops. I'm hit. Oh, um, I'm Look like you're not hit. Suck up Phoenixes. <laughs> That's not Alright, just gonna shoot that sucker down. Hoping now. How many have we shot down? I've got three, and did you get one kill? Uh, I don't think I've shot anyone down, but you've got three, and that's all that matters. Uh, I was going to put the Roland slightly away from the uh, Hawk site. Uh, where shall I put the rapier? Uh, I guess. Uh, hang on, I'll land. And probably there's uh, some woods forward of me that we could put there. As long right. as they're close ish, but not immediately next to me. Like you've got five helicopters in front of you, all within visual range, plus a Tomcat. FYI. Copy. I'm just going to sit and watch you, because this looks interesting. I've lights in their base. Sure, you wouldn't rather watch two hours of sling loading at 60 kilometers an hour? No, I don't want to do that. I want to watch this massive helicopter. Thrilling out to tank. It's like Scandinavian slow television. <laughs> That's just giving his life away. That's what you watch, isn't it? One helicopter down, they are going to be swearing like China people. China people don't swear, Irish people. Tomcat just buzzed you. Tomcat's moving out, they're getting frustrated. Two Tomcats up. In goes by for another. Oh, they got you finally. Take him out. A tank killed you, a frigging tank. With his main gun. Yes, you took out the uh, gazelle by crashing near it. That's frigging awesome. Uh, uh, where are you, Cena? Uh, I'm at the end of the runway. Oh, we're going Mark out to the site. Cool. I'm going out to look for Tomcats. You'll probably get shot. So, Roland Crate next. Uh, 
and uh, the yeah. There's a few patches where there's some bushes on the ground, but from a distance they render in like any other unit. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping that that will make them slightly trickier to spot from a distance. You guys have got a tomcat inbound. We've got a hawk uh, side to protect us. They've got another rapier side up north of the base. Both. And a ton of crates. If you guys see the crates, damage the crates. Roger. Both uh, tomcats up and operational outside the catchment of their base. What am I taking? Uh, not a launcher uh, or EWR? Uh, for the Roland site? Yep. I think it's just three crates. I've like got Roland, Roland ADS and Roland EWR. Yeah, you want Roland ADS. Uh, what about the radar, EWR? Uh, I think we've got to take three of the ADS uh, crates first before. Okay. At least I think that's what the brackets three means. It's not, it might be that there's only three there, but does it still say three? Uh, no, I'm about to pick one up. Yeah, I'm just wondering if we pick one up if the number goes down. We know that's not. We need three crates. That's You can only have three systems. Airborne. Yeah. Looking for Tomcats. Yeah, as long as you stay low and you can see you there and they can't see you, it's perfect. Uh, Cap, you've got one F14 Tomcat, uh, 0954, he's heading south. Roger, so he's on a notch. Okay, I'm going to try and intercept him. Uh, second F14 is 113 for 25, also. Heavy fuckers, these. Searching. Your the closest uh, F-14 has just disappeared from radio. What kind of angels were they at? Oh, he's back. Uh, one is at uh, 16,000 and the one is at 2,000. Okay. The plate's lifting, heading to Tapka. A red wall space chef, I'm about 10 miles behind you, bringing a mortar team. I'm gonna try to land them on the south side of Tapka in the low ground. Do you have guns on your Huey? I have uh, rockets and uh, internal uh, M60 gunners. Okay, there's a whole line of troops sitting at the north side of the runway in Tapka. You want to let your gunners have at them? Uh, Sounds good. Yeah, teams. out to land the mortar team first, and then I'll go for a run. Copy. Uh, both F14s are uh, 134 for 21. They are basically over Tapka. Roger. Roof. So uh, far, quite high, what was it, 16,000, and the other is climbing passing through 8,000. I'm going to try and get out in front of uh, LO and, and drop and see if I can take out some of the tanks on the road. Redo, you're being intercepted from the front by an F-14. Uh, don't have any advice for you. Keep me informed in case the other guy comes and has a pop at uh, He is heading to Redo now, the other guy. He's at 15,000 now, so... Roger. I'm lurking below them both. Yeah, one is at 3,000, the other is at 14,000. They're kind of just passing each other now. I might have a shot coming up on this guy that's doing red. Yeah, you have Jaffa's at Angel's 13. Red's got a missile out on him. I'm also bugging him. Uh, caution, Red O. Uh, gazelle coming in from 030. One mile. Cap cold. Not too touchy. 118 from your camp. Yep. Although he's just dropped down to 3000. Let's see him. Yeah, I'm gonna get airborne now. Right, they're all over me, but it's too risky. Uh, Space Chef turning a little more south. I don't want to get directly involved there. They seem focused on red, except for you, Cap, you got one on your tail. Yeah, I got a spike, which is why I'm heading as soon as way. Yeah, drag if you in. can time, but to drag them, because they might I spot am. me otherwise. Yep. So you have the two 14s hot on you? Yep, I do. I'm leading him. Like, Don't we have a hawk here, guys? A bit further west. Yep. I'm leading him straight into it. Hopefully we'll have a rapier here soon oh. as well. Boys, Imagine, I might have been st uh, spotted. Keep, keep him busy, I'm gonna come in and pop one. Okay. No, the nose cold and I'm heading south. Searching. Gonna follow the tree line. That 14 south is searching for me, he's flying low and he's turning back to me. I can only see one which worries me, they're operating in a good pair. There's one low, Chef. 
Uh, one's at 4,000, one's at 10,000. Which is my closer? Higher up is slightly closer, but they're basically right next to each other, they're almost flying like... Hot or cold? Fast picture. They're cold. This is a real game of cat and mouse, isn't it? I'm with you, Chef. I've chased them off. I've chased them off. That's quite exciting. Sons of bitches, yet yeah, I've gone. That's good, they're running. All right, I'm going to bring them back in a minute. When they turn for me, I'm going to bring them back into you, scene, and you're going to come and give them a bloody nose. Hot, the hot. Cap, there's one hot on you. Turning. Going towards the hawk. Yeah, he turned on you. Hold. Accelerating. Spike. Yeah, he's following you. Good. Yeah. Play my game. I'm gonna right, go. follow these poor lines. Come on, Hasina, it's Angel's out. I'm leading him right into you. Bollocks. Cargo crushed. Stay really low until yeah. you kind of like below me. Second F14, Angel's 10, got northeast him. position. Fox 2. We've got him, we've got him, we've got him, we've got him. Go on, Jaffers. Go on, Jaffers. Slash. Yeah! Four nice. Tomcats down. Right, let's go and hunt the other one as a pack. Oh, we are smashing Tomcats today. Eyes uh, coming in first. Hi, hello. Yes. No, pop, 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 Yeah, pop, you're pop, flanking pop. him right now. Got a lock on him. Just can't find the son of a yeah, bitch. Yeah, hot on Asina. Is he? Yeah, passing you now. Watch out. Yeah, I think they're busy. I'm heading east. Highs turned, highs turned, highs turned. He's cold, cold, cold. Hello, hi. Four Tomcats down, one MiG down. We are 100% doing our job. Well, Azina is. I'm just chasing them home. Oh my god, something happened. There's something down here that's bad. There's radar guided AAA down here. I just dodged it. Yeah, up the road, on the road. I'm headed on that road. There's also two of our tanks headed that way. If anyone wants to take out a radar AAA, that will. Yeah, if someone can so. control of the T72 and hunt down the AAA. Yeah, so I'm heading the towards the 72s right now. They should not engage until I get there. Hello, there's two tanks on the road. I'm sitting here. I'm turning back. The game of cat and mouse continues. I'm just a couple minutes behind you guys, hello. Hello. Uh, see a gazelle east northeast my Fuel position, quite close. Hello, you see my burning wreck off to your I just turned back in. I'm turning cold, I'm leading him to you. Right, same trick, same trick. He's all over me. Oh, hi. I see him. The tanks are yeah. behind that forest. Fox two. Um, I think I've got a missile out of me. Watch out! You've missed, missed, missed. Oh, my God. oh no, 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 no! I seen her finally down. Oh. Damn. Good shot by high. It was a phoenix, so yeah. Was this phoenix or forest? Oh, right, we still killed two more of them than us. Yeah, basically, to the right and left of that forest, hello. Just keep an eye on that. I think they knew what we were up to. Yeah, I did, they've learned. They've learned. Anyone know where that Tomcat okay, is? Okay, I've got the M60s in range. Uh, can you grab a Roland EWR um, crate, Matrix? Uh, I'm having to repair at the moment. Ah. Alright, I'll head back. If you take off before me, grab the uh, EWR internal crate. Because all it's saying that's missing is that EWR. It doesn't actually mention that we need a third uh, crate. So either your crate survived, or we only actually need one of these. Okay, uh, right, I'll keep in touch with them and let you know when I'm repaired. If we only need one. Oh, oh, there is fire. Fire. I don't know what I got, mate. What got me? Hydraulic failure. Ah, uh, got me. Right, right, right. It's all going pear shaped. I don't know what hit me. Maybe a gazelle? Ah, oh, man, this is a harsh battlefield. Shaq. Right, uh, sport right, right, right. They're bringing it back. Bollocks. They're uh, attacking Abu al Duhur. Flight rifle? Yeah, probably. I've landed and shut down, so that'll count. One Vulcan, two M60s down. Oh, that feels good. So, what do we need, uh, Blood Knock? Just the EWR internal crate. If you take that over and try and deploy it, I'll grab the um, stuff for the rapier system. I don't. I think of all uh, three down. Well, They're I unlikely to F14 be able to get close to this farm. Yeah. It's gone, Mr. <laughs> Oh, good dodge. Amazing dodge. Just wasted one of their phoenixes. On the nose, on the nose, on the nose. Guns, guns, guns. Good evasion. Two phoenixes wasted. 
<laughs> you get it with a pencil, that is so funny. I'm trying to lock him up. I don't seem to be able to spawn an EWR crate. Go towards Ready? him, Blight, keep him under pressure. Don't let him have room. Yeah, I can't uh, spawn. I'm not seeing him. Hang on, you know, I can't spawn the EWR crate. I'm gonna text you whilst your engine's spawning. Alright, he's got me locked again. Roger, ah, I see. Uh, yeah, I took from the other set, AAA SR some crates, the Roland ADS 3. So I take one of them and sling load it across and see what happens. A uh, Roland ADS in short yeah. range. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I picked. I think we. Did you pick that as well last time? Uh, no, I picked it from the other menu. Ah, okay, I see. That's why I got that message. Right, if we both take one of these crates over, we should be able to form a full system. So is it the heavy one or the lighter one? It's the lighter one, isn't it? Uh, say again, it's yes, on it the... Is. should be the one that's just rolling ADS, no launcher, no EWR. Hey, because I've got two stacked on top of each other like a big Jenga. Guys, let ah. me know when he turns in. I got him locked, so I'm waiting for the turn in. Hold on. Actually, I want to go and insert some troops down at uh, Farp Solomon Ale. Uh, we're going to need Seven. two of those rolling crates, though, if you didn't pick up the... Fuck it. He's six right miles. Bolt. He's six miles. I'm going to try and do cap, because I'm going to try and stay, like, kind of north Just of, hard. like, where the combat is happening. Okay. So that way, if they're, like, chasing someone uh, west, that way I can come yeah. south to get them from the side. Ah, I finally got you. Nasty surface to wear missiles down there. I don't know if it's mistrials or what, but in that zone, I was mullered last time by something invisible. Drop, you got an F5 and a Apache attacking that base. Yeah. Watch it. Yeah, we had a base under attack. Watch out. Uh, one thing I've learned about this, you have to keep the airspeed down, otherwise it will not turn. It will just stall you into the ground. It's horrible. Oh, he's on your nose. I see him. Use your high or full sight capability. Yeah! Got and drop. Okay, I'm operating in front of their base. I've got no tom obvious Tomcats. Might have RTB'd. Might have RTB'd, yeah, for fuel. Heading back to Hawk sight. About 20 minutes left. How's your stuff going, drop? I uh, was just trying to get this Apache. Checking the Tomcats. Seem to have abandoned this base, guys. I don't see any uh, anything there at all, including helicopters. Are we able to get troops there and capture it? Well, Chef is on the way with some troops. Yeah, I have one more top team. Do you have any troops that can actually get in there and capture it proper? I don't think so. No, but uh, the motor should be able to clear any occupants. Surely you try to land any troops there, Captain the MS. Picking up a uh, spike or something, but I don't know what it is. I've seen it, do you see Could, be, Could be our hawk. There's a gazelle down there on your nose, Cap. Yeah, I, I had it. I'm going to go and see if I can pop it. I don't see what you're getting spiked for. I'm at the farm and I'm getting sp spiked okay. as well. Someone keep an eye out for Tomcats, please, while we just pop these choppers. They're coming in with choppers to attack us. I want you right, Matrix. I know, I'm going to go slightly south and uh, drop on the south side. You just go ahead, I've got eyes on you. Okay. They are out of vehicles around Topka, no more vehicles. Right, I'll like spend the lack of Tomcats. Running in, Pap. All they have is troops now. Uh, F-14, basically, you know, right on top of you. Oh, really? Just came up. Jesus Christ. Help, help, help. Drops of Pachu destroyed. Well done. Where did that Tomcat come from? He's a uh, 3,000 feet. I'm heading north, leading him in. I'm assuming you're north. We are all merging in together. Right. Visual him, visual him. He's after me, he's after me, I think. Yeah, he is. No, he's after nice you, hello, he's after you. I got the Apache, I got the. I don't know, I got something. Who's he after? No, he's after, after you. Two. 
Phoenix out, Phoenix out. Roger. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on, guys. Sit in dark Splash. Cover. Yes. I just got to beat the missile. Careful. Five of them, three to us. I'll take Front. that. What the fuck was that? That was me, that was me. Uh, he ejected. Right back. It's high on, on Asina's tail. Got to beat this stupid Phoenix. Uh, he ejected before team bailed. Heading back to the deck. Going into hide mode. Phoenix defeated. Great teamwork, guys. Great teamwork. Another Tom Fuel, Cat down. 1500. Heading back in. Let's keep the pressure on. Like a giant pneumatic press on their face. Right, we've got a helicopter and a Tom Cat that time. I've got my fuel. We're doing all right. I'm going to go around to idle, basically. Rock's been shot down over Abu al Duha. What was it? No idea. I was landing. F5, apparently. Uh... Uh, F5 spotted off your nose, Kim. I see him, but I'm worried about Sam's. What's my location to their base? I'm going to have a pop uh, in. got a decent time, yeah. You're not quite there yet. He's jerked at him. Fired a box one at him, so I'm bopping one. Matrix, you are heading to Tapka? Uh, negative. Uh, I can. I've just loaded troops. If you want me to go there rather than uh, far, got him. Solemn, far, whatever it was. Up or down? Are you able to make Are it? You trying to capture our northern far? Yeah, I was going to go down head to the one to the south, our original one, and just drop a squad there to cause them a bit of trouble. Okay, okay. Uh, but I can divert to Tampa if necessary. Which part are you trying to get in? The one in uh, Kyrgyzstan. Because we only have like twenty yes. minutes left. Yeah, no, I know. Um, it's about the same distance as Tokyo. Uh, my other thought is if we can get all the internal crates for the rapier site and get that active. I'm on my way already. So where do you want to go, Tapka? Tapka is the one that uh, I think, as long as you can take out the enemy troops on the ground, then you'll capture it. Uh, I've got no. I wasn't able to arm with any kind of uh, external ammunition, uh, any external stores or guns. So it's only internal troops. I guess if you bring them, that's gonna maximize our chances. All right, I'm on which tank up. We're at risk of losing uh, Abu al F5 just passed over Tabku. Roger. I've got him spotted. Oh, I'm taking it. Yeah, I've got him. I'm gonna shoot him down right now. Box one, he's a dead man. As on an F5 flying uh, east to west from Tabka. I'm shooting him right now. And yeah, I can't, even, I can't even take oh, off nice. Abu out here. Right, what do you need from us, Drop? Um, well, we've got barracks left here, um, and we're going to lose it. I keep getting straight on the taxiway, so I can't get out. Do you want to go and sort it out, Hasina? I seem to have this sewn up here. Uh, Hasina, 261 for 65 nautical miles. Oh, it's Milo and NF5, yeah. We'll dispatch him pretty soon. Spish, have 10 miles to tap up. Roger, Chef, try and keep an eye on um, anything coming out there, so I can vector in, kill them. Got it. Depends on how broken you are. Iran has captured oh. Al Duha. Ah, bad. Bad man. How the hell did they do that? Someone get in a vehicle, drive there. Where is that? In what? Nissan. Yes, yeah, so we gotta defend the FARP. At least prevent them to take the entire province. Well, they're not taking the FARP in this. Time unless I've already fuel, been attacking. It. 800. Bingo fuel. Fuel. There's, uh, there's a bunch of vehicles, tanks and stuff on the road that have to be driven back to Abu to her. West of Cap. Say again, Chef. Three times fast mover west of Cap. Are you serious? Three fast jets? Yeah. I can't yes. fight them. I've got no fuel. I'm just going to lead them away to Stop Sam's. It. Do you want me to come back and help? I'm just going to lead him into Sam's. Is there any point of sending Hazina to Abu now we've lost it? Negative. Not right, you, you come back, Hazina, come and help me with his F5s. We'll play our daisy chain. We have 14 up there too. Hmm. They are sending Tomcats for one last push. That's not very sociable, guys. FTU, FTU. I've only got half a ton of fuel, so I pretty much have to go back very shortly anyway. Tomcat hot behind you. Roger, I can't burn. I'm all out of fuel. I'm relying on my hawk. I'm close okay, to you if you I have to eject. Yeah, again. I may have to. 
Yeah, they're going for a last push. I think we're well, some, uh, somebody's heading to, towards me. Uh, progress to Zena, how far are you? Bendy's turned nose cold. Uh, not too far. Yeah, they're, they're both nose cold, Cap. Ah, oh, I will take that. I've only got 400 kilos of fuel, which is zero playtime. Well, I would just defend the choppers, but not necessarily aggress to Zena. I've got to go home. Just don't run out of fuel. This is a real shit way to lose an airframe. Tomcat cold, F5 cold. Special chef, success, uh, motor team, South Tabga. Nice one, chef. Okay, I'm gonna try to take down uh, the troops in the center. Good man. I seen a Tomcat 140 flanking right, Angels deck. Dispatch that son of a bitch. I want another Tomcat notch on our belt. Do we know how many Tomcats they have? Like in, in stores. But we've killed them. They've got one me. Missile out. We're about to shoot them down. We just need to sneak up on them a little closer. I don't think he knows you're there. Bide your time, sir. Bide your time. Especially not. Yeah, he must know you're there. That's unfortunate. Is that for me? Fox 2. Go on, Hasina. Go on, Hasina. You got him. Another Tom. Five Tomcats down. RTB, Hasina. Three, three, zero. Not one. Five Tomcats down. Exceptional. And Chef's in there smashing everything. Try and eke it out for another eight minutes or so, you might get away with it. Ah, uh, Special have got killed. Roger, you did good damage. We're not going to take the field, but we've done a lot of material damage. The Matrix is inbound. Squad of 22. Roger. Yeah, I think you should be able to take the airfield. You have support of the motors. They're not using the motors, they're moving in. Seen something fast moving over the airfield. Oh. Over Tabka yep. northbound. I've. Yep, troops moving in, sort of. F5 airborne. Just suck it up. Save the MiG 29. Oh. Oh, AV8B. Uh, hello, you got an F5. You can take him in a dogfight. Use flares. Uh, Vector. Hello, Vector 083 for 12 miles. He's flanking left to right. Angels 4. Yep. Shoot him in the head. Rape your sight deployed. Well nice one. Hello, you have eyes on? Negative. 070. 064 for 4. Right, Paul. Hit is up. Check. Come in the crane now. I'm gonna climb just in case. Flight rifle. Yep. Check. No enemy units shown on the F10 map at Tabka. Do we have any friendly units on the? Uh... I imagine that's what. There is. Quiet. Yeah, there's some to the south of the airfield. If somebody can get them to, uh... if somebody can get them to move north, we should cover oh. that one. What was that? I just wasted an airframe really fucking badly. I don't know what happened. Uh, make matrix, chef. Fuck. Go. Do you want to go straight in on Tabka or do you want to land close south? No, I'll try and get straight in. I do see one fast mover on the nose, uh, Angels 1. I think he's turning to the south though. Okay, good luck. I think I might need it. I see why we can't spawn a Roland EWR. It's it's bound to F11, which is also the go back key. Huh. Oh, great. Yeah, and so I also can't get a NASAM system. We did a thing. Yay! We captured it. Yay! 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 In the last five seconds. How did we do that? I don't know. Well, I think we've got troops, more yes. troops on the airfield than they have. We have got more troops than they have. Well done. What a bloody chance what? is that? Oh, we needed that, guys. Yes, that was a lucky one. We did. Well, that's another stalemate. They took one, we took one. Yeah. So, so which just, one did they take? We just spawned a Strela that's going to uh, shoot up. Oh, down. it's, it's yeah, there's so, oh. yeah, they got him. So much triple A. Took so bugger off. Bless Take that up the arse. Some triple A up the arse. Good man. Indeed. <laughs> oh, at least you won't be bothering me. Yeah, I'll provide a detailed summary in the next missions, kind of uh, what happened last time sort of thing. So if everyone could just go ahead and tell Roger, their side of the story. MiG 29s. Um, we spent 90 minutes smashing it out with uh, F-14s and a few targets of opportunity. It was a real game of cat and mouse. They would lead us into their SAMs and vice versa. 
who came out on top uh, i don't really know i won't know until last time but it was uh it was good i was struggling but uh hasina was on form which really helped uh that's it next flight yeah dropping harriers with elo uh we tried to attack tabka um we had some unlucky shots with the rapier seemed to go for the launcher instead um yeah uh i think we managed to take out a couple of helicopters but uh ultimately both died um i did try and save abu al uh i can't remember what the airfield name is um, but was unsuccessful in that uh good next flight please space chef uh uh one I took some sneaky routes to try to get some troops in Tagba. Uh, first uh, way in, uh, I located, well, someone located the rapier and I tried to sneak in with the UH-1. It actually worked, so dumped some rockets and I found there were two MI-8s also doing sling loading just around it, so I tried to shoot them down. Uh, I think I got one, damaged another. Eventually got shot down by a gazelle, probably. And then I tried to bring some more troops uh, on the south of the airfield. Uh, I got a motor team in, and I think that's the motor team that made it at the last second to the center of the airfield and that uh, got the capture. So that was very exciting and, uh, yeah, very fun. Well done. Well done for sticking at it. And it's difficult, obviously. Uh, next flight, please. <clears throat> Light in the hind. I got out to uh, Tapka. I took out uh, enemy vehicles on the road. Took out a Mi-8 that was carrying a, a crate, and a and I fox forward a a poor gazelle that was trying to land. Uh, then went out to Abu Al Dahur after it was captured and took out uh, the majority of the AAA. Yeah, that was and good. Then, uh, got in a tank and started to drive up there. Yeah, I followed that. Great work. Uh, made it possible. Next flight, please. Mi-8, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's me and Bloodlock. Um, we started by doing a lot of sling loading. It's very painful. It's like with teeth pulled. But uh, we did set up a hawk site, a Roman site, and I think we did a rapier site as well. So, and I snuck uh, in an EWR right at the end. Yeah, and the, um, the I think there was a bug with the uh, Roland site, so it wouldn't spawn because the, it's a double bind to F11. But I'll let Blood not explain that one. Um, in the end, I took some troops over to Tab because it seems like we might need them. And just in the dying minutes, dying seconds, actually got over the fence. Unloaded some troops, so we've got some more troops at Tabka. Well done, boys. Uh, Reds. Uh, I think those are Tomcats first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much like Cap said, uh, we focused on defending Tabka. Pushed away the 29s, then they pushed in, in and out, cat and mouse. Good fighting. And then we managed also to intercept a couple of helicopters to the west. And helped a little bit with air to air to capture uh, a base to the west. I don't know the name, sorry. Uh, but I think overall it was good. Uh, kills both sides, jabs, good kills, uh, good flying. It was fun. Well done. Good opposition. Next flight. After in Bendy Gazelles, uh, we got three air to air kills each. Mm. Um, we uh, got cap on, I got cap on. Oh, nice. So you got... a lot were. I certainly got a Harrier. Um, I then switched. We ran out of Mistral missiles, basically. Uh, I switched air to ground, and uh, Bendy also, I think, switched air to ground. Uh, didn't actually have any success because by the time I got back to Tabka to rearm for anti troop, it wouldn't let me rearm anymore because the base was contested. Bendy, anything to add? Um, no, other than getting shot down a couple of times in the F5, uh, that's about it for me. Roger, uh, next flight. I was going to say one of the red MI8s. So myself and Jigsaw, we set up the rapier site pretty quickly, um, which turned out to be quite effective. And some other shore round we got out. Um, Towards the end, I managed to clear out those troops that Matrix dropped off about sort of 30 seconds, 40 seconds before the uh, end game came up. Um, that was me. Roger. Uh, next flight. Uh, yeah, Milo on the F5. Uh, got in a little bit late into the game, but uh, assisted bypass the capture of Abu, whoever it was. Uh, he sniped the targets while I was using very successful strategy 
took the airfield, landed, um, and uh, as Red mentioned, uh, stuff started exploding around me, and I saw him taking out uh, with the hind uh, some of our anti air. Um, I think he possibly crashed at that point or got shot down, not really sure if that was the end of the game. But yeah, very sad. I just made the finish cap in the Apache. I, I enjoyed sort of dogfighting or, or dodging missiles from the MiG 29. Don't know who that was, but that was pretty fun. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'll give a detailed summary in the next mission. Roger. Good game. Really good game. Started off a bit funny, but um, worked out really tight in the end. See you later. All right, later. See you. Yeah, guys, thanks. Good luck tomorrow, yeah. Cap.